Hello, everyone. It's been a while. As with most people, uh, 2020 happened, but I thought I'd get back into the swing of things here. And what I'm going to be doing today is show you how you can split and edit grouped items under the mouse cursor in uh, Reaper. First, let's go to our action list. Reaper has a few um, actions that you can use to split item under mouse cursor. Typically, I've used this one here before. Uh, split item on the mouse cursor, select right. This works great on uh, single tracks. Let's do a split here. And you see there you can uh, drag and do a fade and uh, things like that. But this action can screw up uh, things very quickly. Let's see, we have selected the item before there. And then do a split. And drag, you see it doesn't deselect or unselect the previous selection. So you need to be very careful with uh, that one. So for that one, uh, what I've done before is create a custom action where I insert an unselect all items before splitting. So that works uh, fine on, on single tracks. Well, let's group all these uh, tom tracks together. Now, what happens if I try to uh, split this? It will only split one of the tracks. So this action is pretty much unusable if you want to uh, quickly edit, uh, let's say, a, a grouped uh, drum set or several guitars at once. So what I've had to do is uh, do a lot of research to figure out how you can do this. So first let's undo what we've done. And then I'll go into the action list and show you the custom action that I've put together. This is a quite an involved one. And we start off with unselecting all items. Let's make sure that we don't accidentally edit selections we already have. And when splitting, we need to remove our new items from the group it's already in. Otherwise, you can't edit these new um, items separately from the rest of the group. Why on earth the repo works like that? <laughs> I have no idea. Now, here's our first script uh, that we're going to need. Split items on the mouse with selection option. And group selected items vertically. Now, one thing we need to do here is, is edit one of the scripts. And here we find that one. We need to edit action. And we have a couple of user settings here. Typically, what we want to do is uh, set the script to select the right items after uh, splitting. So we have three choices here. No change, select left or select right. So you're going to have to um, insert two here. And I've also chosen to keep this setting. Ignore snap. Exit that one. And when you change things, you'll get a prompt to save it, which you uh, must do. To uh, recap here, unselect previously selected items, remove items from group, split items under mouse, and we have the last one here, group selected items vertically. And this is why we need to uh, have that uh, select to right option when we're splitting. That way, those items are already selected once we've uh, split, and the second script will then automatically group them in a new group. So let's just uh, demonstrate that very quickly here. And there it is. You can now edit these new ones without affecting any other item in the project, only the ones that you've grouped. <laughs> took uh, quite a few hours to figure this one out, but uh, it works brilliantly. And this will allow you to do a fairly big um, edits really quickly. In some cases, you can do it while playing back the song. Like many other... Uh, 
workarounds that are in Reaper can be extremely hard to figure out exactly how to do them. I'm allergic to scripts. They make my head hurt. And there was almost nothing to find out uh, through Googling or uh, searching on YouTube. But anyways, glad I found this one out. And I hope this one uh, can be helpful for uh, more people out there. It's a really great way to um, to edit grouped items without having to click and select the group uh, constantly. One other thing to keep in mind is that uh, to get these uh, scripts, you need to have the rear pack extension installed. Otherwise, there is uh, just no way to get this to work. Hope that was helpful. Leave a comment or a like or share the video or whatever you like. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll be back very soon with another video.